ass, titties, ass and titties, ass, ass, titties, titties, ass and titties. Big booty bitches, y'all need to wash up. Don't get mad if I don't wanna fuck. You need soap and water, soap and water. You smell like you pass. That's unwashedy pussy and ass. <laughs> Yeah! How's it going? <laughs> All right, you yeah. <laughs> crazy fuckers. You anal assassins. How you guys doing? So you thought we are just going to like insult <laughs> you and shit when you came on like we always do? That's how we roll, man. Yeah, look, man, <laughs> you can't be a grunt if people don't like fuck with you because that's yeah. the way it works. I've actually been at weddings where they've played that song, and I'm like, hmm, I wonder how many of these stunning and brave, strong, independent women took gender studies classes. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> they could pay that debt for the rest of their life for all I care. Yes. Don't drop the soap. Oh, oh my lord. Oh, my lanta. <laughs> oh, got a little bit of a data fluctuation there, but it seems to be leveling out. I hope we didn't drop too many frames. How are you guys doing tonight, man? 412 live save and episode 111 on Grunt Speak Live. Winning. 111? 111. Uh, uh oh. 11 D. 11 D. Yeah. 111 D. I like it. Yeah, what are you going to do? But as usual, we have no shortage of crazy, stupid shit to talk about. <laughs> Oh, and it's all stupid shit. Today. We'll just dive right into this here because this is too funny for right, words. Before we get in here. Oh, absolutely. Go for it. Okay. We're going to show you something that has got a lot of press. Yes. It is absolutely false. Yeah. The uh, the quartering did two videos on these subjects. Correct. So I, ordinarily we wouldn't cover it, but it, it just goes to show you that this stuff, I mean, what was that saying? Winston Churchill said, like, you know, a lie gets around the world before the truth can get its pants on yeah, or some like shit. That. I mean, that's that's what we're seeing here. But what we're seeing, well, but you have to ask yourself, what should have been in this story's place? What are, what are some shit they don't want you to see? Yeah, where's the real news? <laughs> yeah, it's the, uh, the collapsing narrative. Oh, yeah. Skyrocketing inflation. Hmm. Uh, the uh, precipice of World War Three. Leftoids doubling down on a lack of transparency and education. Yeah, mm. there we go. It's good times. School accused of installing litter boxes for students who identify as cats <laughs> hit back after parents' outrage. Uh, and this is allegedly local. Uh, yeah. Midland Public it, Schools, so an hour from here, maybe? Yeah, it's like an hour, hour and ten minutes away from here. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, this rumor got so out of control that people were sending letters of outrage to the superintendent. And he's like, I can't believe you stupid motherfuckers actually thought we would put litter boxes in our school for furries. Well, hang on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> With that being said. Clown world. The reason our media is going crazy the way it is, is we are overwhelmingly populated with idiots. Yes. I want to know who's turning the crank on the idiot spank box, <laughs> which is cranking out idiots faster than oh, we can Oh, man. Count. They're, they're coming at you like the little mini marshmallow men in the new Ghostbusters. Oh, my. I haven't, I haven't seen that yet. Oh, it's fucking good, man. <laughs> Highly recommended. Uh, and then this one goes <laughs> hand in hand with this one, which the quartering also did a video on. Teacher alleges that she was fired for not meowing back at a student who identifies as a cat. Now, um, oh my God. I, I don't know what combination of unfortunate genetic individuals was put together to create a woman who's this heinous looking, but uh, her, her story seems well legit enough when well, she uh, hang on. says it. You ever do this in the mall? Just look at people and like talk about what you think their lives are? <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's go back to this woman's picture. All right, so what I see here mm. is a do-gooder uber liberal who missed the dick boat doesn't have any kids at home not married and uh, is teaching and basically is on her last string of sanity um, is that, I, I mean are you see now this is the face that i would expect to see in roughly 15 years 
you know, that the OnlyFans account, uh, glory hole attendant, didn't get the benefit she was hoping for to take care of the HPV. Um, clearly That's... had some unfortunate side effects. Uh, you know, certain experimental jabs going around, and I'm not talking about Apollo Creed, if you know what I mean. Uh -huh. And it seems to have turned her into the newest, not genetically related, but definitely uh, got some got some markers of uh, Ernest P. Worrell. If you know what I mean, Vern. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> it's pretty bad. And it, it seemed legit enough because, I mean, obviously the post-millennial covered this. They don't fact check everything, obviously, but they put this out there. They tend to be pretty good most of the time. And wow. I mean, just wow. And she is a teacher, legit. She's a high school teacher. So when she came out and said this, it seemed, you know. Good enough for the time. Let's take a listen. Okay. 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 I've got to rant for a minute. Oh my Just God. when I thought school couldn't get any weirder, it did today. I'm a sub, and the most important thing we do is take roles so the school gets paid. So I'm looking at the seating chart as I'm going up and down the rows and marking who's here and who's not. I get to the third row and I hear this meow. You know, I would hope that she wouldn't show up for a day at work looking like this. Just well, she's a substitute teacher in her f between 40 and 50. Yeah. She's. She's but, wrecked her life. I'm just saying, like, she uses the magic bullet to make her cum smoothie, and then she uses the same magic bullet to do her hair? I think so. Oh. Excuse me? Excuse me? <laughs> Start looking on the ground. Go to the fourth row. Everything's good. Go to the fifth row. Everybody's there. Then I hear, meow. meow. I'm like, okay, what's up with that? Who's <laughs> doing it? And this little girl in the very front row says, you have to meow back at him. He identifies as a cat. Now, see, now it's it's believable up until that's a dude. <laughs> I don't know. Are you kidding me? I said, is there a litter box in here somewhere? My sarcasm self probably shouldn't have said that. Yeah. Gets up and he storms out of the classroom, and I'm like, Ruff. okay. And of course, the entire class is laughing. And I think, oh, uh, no and problem. They all got no up and applauded. I go to the office. You ready for this? You check out. They said, we no longer need your services if you can't identify with all the children in the classroom. And you wonder why they don't have any subs. <laughs> I told the lady, I said, I didn't know cats were considered people. I thought they were pets. Another school off my list. I, I, I've known quite a few pussies in my day. I'm just saying. Well, first of all. This this is that's not true, right? It's, no, it is not. It sounds it little seems legit, and that's how sad it is. Yeah, um, she says flat out here. Um, you know, they kind of go through it here in this Newsweek story here. Uh huh. Um, she did not expect it to catch fire because she's been making stupid TikTok videos for quite a while, I guess, and this is the first one that got reshared and reshared and went viral. And she did it to. Ironically enough, this is the very feminist part of it. She said she did it to create awareness of what kids are going through at school, just like false rapé allegations. Um, you know what? If you think you're a werewolf, what do you think happens to you? They put you in silver bracelets <laughs> and make you uh, wear I love me vest, and then you wind up hanging out with Napoleon and uh, <laughs> you know Frederick the Great and what have you. Yep. But, uh, I'm sorry, but uh -huh. the reason why I think we still had to, had to talk about this, even though it's, you know, faker than a Jersey Shore suntan, is simply because this is how far off the rails the leftoids especially have taken this country to where satire often we can't sounds, tell the difference. It sounds more plausible often than the real shit. We, we can't tell the difference. It's insane. Wow. I mean, just think about the last two years. We got a geriatric Alzheimer's patient who got installed into the White House after 81 million scoops of ice cream. Uh -huh. We got, uh, there, there was a, uh, an Eastern European bodybuilder who married a, uh, a doll and then divorced it after he cheated on it over Christmas <laughs> <laughs> while it was in the doll hospital. And then you oh had the, the, the model recently who married herself and then divorced herself after 90 days because she met someone special. Uh-huh. And, uh, I mean, you have the marionette in chief. Uh, I mean, U.S. giving dollars to a lab in Inache to make 
Yeah. Yeah. So that other companies could sell jabs. Yeah. Yeah. This is where we are. And we can't go into a lot of the jab stuff until we go to new tax. So no, no, no. We'll, we'll talk about that later. Yeah, I gotcha. We'll, uh, we'll get screwed. Apparently, there was another creator today got a strike for talking about the monkeys. Yep. That's, I mean, it actually happened. Yep. And um, not allowed to talk about the truth on YouTube. Well, he, all right. So I, I read the article on the, the, the car accident that spilled the, the lab animals years ago. Black Ice driving back from New York. See my kids. And it's about well, 10 30 at night. And I'm just coming through Ohio. And there's a lot of agriculture in Ohio, right? And I didn't see it happen, but it literally had to have happened minutes before I arrived. Whole truck full of chickens. <laughs> oh no. He goes sideways on the black ice. The guy's driving. He goes. He sees the his his rig off to the side. He goes. Oh, that looks bad. <laughs> Next thing you know, chickens everywhere. And I, I I literally am like two minutes behind there. I come rolling up and there's like chickens. I'm like, what the fuck? I pull over because <laughs> you can't get. I have to wait <laughs> for them to clear the road because the whole truck is like sideways, dumped wow. over it with chickens everywhere. And I, I remember, like, some of the state troopers rolls up, and he goes, that's going to take my entire shift for this. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> but it, it happens. Okay. Yeah, I didn't ask for this, man. You know, I'm just saying. I've seen a whole uh, a whole carrier truck full of cows once flip over on its side, spill all the cargo out, and you just heard them. <laughs> it's like, oh, shit, it's a holocaust. <laughs> what are you going to do? No, no, but the thing is, like, if I would have stopped at one gas station to get gas, what I normally go to, that was more efficient, I'd have been there right in the middle. Right in the middle. Of the, the chicken catastrophe. <laughs> <laughs> the chicken catastrophe. Or the cock catastrophe. Oh, my God, it was hilarious. That was like, that was, that was in November when that happened. It's right before I quit driving. Yes. I usually start. I used to take the train in the middle of November to middle of March. Yeah, yep. two more minutes, and I'd have been squashed and killed in chicken shit. Yep. Um, speaking one, of shit. Speaking of shit, one quick thing that we have to talk about here before we get going. I'm sure there's a lot of people who have attempted to go and take a look over at MGTOW.TV. Uh, there must have been an update or something going on, but uh, I'm seeing the same error that you are all seeing. I'm seeing site can't be reached, web page might be temporarily down or have moved permanently to a new address. Uh, I did let Amr know about it, but uh, tonight... No stream at MGTOW. Apologies. I did leave a link to the Odyssey stream in that chat. Yeah, in the chat. So, everybody. It's growing pains, man. Growing, growing pains. pains. That's the yeah. way it is. Yeah, you know, if it wasn't uh, technology, would just Murphy would just leave it alone. All right. Now, this next story. so nice. If you wanted to have any excuse at all not to go see the Winter Olympics, <laughs> this is it. Yeah. I mean, China... China wants your ass. I mean, they what want can your I say? ass, literally. We don't need aliens to abduct us anymore because now we have the Chinese. China brings back anal swab testing for Iau in the world's most brutal lockdown two weeks before the Winter Olympics begin. Fascinating. <laughs> you know, well, actually, um, if there is no way I would brave the, the flights and all that crazy shit to go to China. Yeah. To see the Olympics, I've never really been been a fan yeah. of the Olympics because uh, they pussied everything down. Like I remember back in the day, Olympic boxing—you didn't wear headgear. Yeah. Now you gotta wear headgear. Uh, you wouldn't get hurt. They have this weird like, scoring system. It's just so stupid. I even waste my time. Yeah, I mean, if you don't want to get hurt, what maybe you don't participate in a sport where you have to punch each other as hard as you can in the face. It's just my personal. Opinion. Yeah, it is. Oh. It didn't really bother me when it was happening. <laughs> to get used Drilling, to it after a while. Man. Uh, the communist regime claims that the test, which involves inserting a five centimeter long saline soaked swab up a patient's bum and rotating it, is more accurate. It, it, 
sad thing is, it probably is. <laughs> I don't want. You know what? First of all, <laughs> uh, the whole EIU when it was the original strain, you still had a ninety nine point seven some odd percent chance of survival. Yeah. And now that they have the Omicron or whatever it's called, it's basically, it's like yeah, it's like a bodybuilding common cold. Yep. And it's getting weaker with age. That's exactly how evolution works with these things, man. Yep. It's now it, it, unless you screw with it. Two years from now, it's going to be the equivalent of Arnold Schwarzenegger at the age of sixty something. <laughs> yep. Uh, Japan calls on China to stop using the undignified test, as some passengers said it caused them psychological distress. Yeah. China allegedly ordered American diplomats to undergo the test, sparking a row with the State Department. Beijing denied the claims, but Washington slammed the test as undignified. In response, Liu Hongsu, a Chinese doctor, told state media that travelers could provide a poo sample at the airport instead. (laughs) <laughs> you shit one can you never let you live it down man you know, it makes me wonder if this is all just like the cunning plan of some Asian scat enthusiast if you know what I mean like he just wants his memoir scat of ass yeah he, he wants like his biopic to be two girls one cup but so far all he's got is like the dick vein that's on top of every Snickers bar <laughs> 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 what are you going to do? Uh, you know, just, keep, just keep trying Lu Hong Su. I'm sure one day you'll get that uh, that Cleveland steamer that you're looking for. I just I just can't believe that uh, we even are actually entertaining going, are still participating in the Olympics. <laughs> Why the fuck are like the whole Western world to say, fuck the Olympics, screw you, China? Yeah. We don't care. Yeah, we really don't. <laughs> I mean, and, what are the ratings of the Olympics now? They're like in the toilet, aren't they? Well, uh, if they're as woke as virtually everything else that I see on television, uh, I wouldn't know because I don't watch television. I don't watch so. it either. I'm just wondering. Anyone out there know the uh, ratings for the uh, Olympics? I'm sure they've been going down. <laughs> I'm, sure the, I'm sure they're going down faster than most of the Chinese hookers that are waiting outside the doors to get into the Olympics. <laughs> don't don't fall for it though. They gave them all the swab. Ugh. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. Yeah. Milk your prostate? No. No, thank you. Pretty good with that. Especially if you want to do what you want to do. Let's get a seventy one. <laughs> yeah, seventy one, yeah. <laughs> Sixty nine with two fingers up your ass. <laughs> yeah, get a seventy one. Seriously, you you go there being melanin challenged to China. All you got to do is walk out of the hotel. They are on you. Oh, yeah. Like, there's, what, there's a couple silky, of guys. Silky, No. No, no. There's a couple of guys have a YouTube channel that were making some really good videos back when the coup first started. I watched mm. their stuff. And I believe they've both been, like, banned from reentry into the country because like, China hates them now. <laughs> They're two Caucasians. Well. <laughs> I, I hear there, if you are unmelanin challenged, say you're from the continent of Africa and you go to China, they really treat you bad. Yeah, yeah. If you are uh, not melanin challenged and you live in this country, just go visit China and you will develop a new respect for China. the American dream. Yep, because it's blatant. I mean, yeah. there's, I mean, I heard all kinds of, I don't know if this is true, these are just horror stories. About individuals going there and being denied hotel rooms and being able to eat at certain restaurants and stuff. It's kind of like the United States in the 50s. Yeah. And ironically, they still want that back, that whole segregation thing. Yeah. That's going to work out real good for you if yeah. you get what you want. It's progressive now. <laughs> yeah, well, the thing is, I mean, they're, they're, sooner or later, if we don't nip this in the bud, it's going to go there. Yeah. But the thing is, it's not going to stop at you get your own water fountain, you have to eat in the back of the restaurant. It's going to get much worse. Way worse. Way worse this time. No, no, it's uh, just saying life makes a lot more sense when you understand that the Democrats never stopped being the party of slavery. Once you understand that, everything else makes sense. It's like an uber nightmare now. Not only are they still the party of slavery, but now they're socialist slavers. 
That's a, that's a horrible combination. And they've managed to get the people they want to enslave culpable yeah, in that they're slavery. Prison, that, they're, oh, yeah? You're going to give me free shit? Well, that sounds good. Okay, I'll just walk right back on to play. Yes, master. <laughs> now, I'll stick my head on the chopping block for mm-hmm. an extra Xbox One. Yeah. Right, what the fuck? And, uh, and her over there, can, can she be my state-mandated wife on her tickle my sack? <laughs> It's the wrong kind of chill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, what did I see the guy just talking about? <laughs> it was, uh, what was it? It's that new show, Peacemaker. I haven't even heard of it. Oh, it's on It's on HBO Max. I was watching, uh, and one of the one of the characters is like a, a techno dork, and uh, Peacemaker was effing with them like, yeah, well, you know, I'm I'm sorry, but we're not trying to find out if you like to put your sack in people's mouths. He's like, first of all, I don't like that. It's the wrong kind of chills. It is the wrong kind of chills. <laughs> I had to laugh, man. I had to laugh. <laughs> there is such a thing as too much horn talk, I'm just saying. I just, yeah. <laughs> all right, we'll read a few super chats here, and then we'll jump back in. Uh, Nathan P. Clark, hey, Poppin' Blake, I finally caught you guys live. I sent an email a little bit back about the story of Crazy Sasha. I'm just wondering if you guys enjoyed that. I don't remember if I At least got that. We get a lot of emails, bro. Yeah, if it was a little bit back, uh, we get a lot Sorry. of emails. What's our count now? Uh, well, hang on here. I'm almost done with this chat, and then I'll jump back over All here. Right. Uh, also, have you heard about the Canadian convoy at Ah? Yes. yes. You okay. just wait. We're going to be covering wait. that. We're covering that today. And 829 currently watching on YouTube. Thank you all very much for tuning in. Looks like MGTOW is still shit in the bed. It's so sad. Uh, Odyssey's rocking 138. How are you guys doing over there? Twitch. 56 and D Live 53, Dinoside 13, and Emperor of Chaos Jackal monitoring over there. So we're just shy of a thousand. Oh, yeah. Speaking of Jackal the Emperor, this is the bullshit that contaminates the internet overflowing into the real world and trying to establish a beachhead here. And the metaverse is just going to make this fuckery fester and get worse as it becomes more mainstream. Glad I'm already dead. <laughs> I gotta write that down. Festering fuckery. Festering fuckery. Oh my god, this can be a con- Comedy video right there. And Dinosaur 13 here. Cheers, dudes. The new job was officially off foot. I will be taking it. Better pay, and I get to learn all about plumbing and septic tank system maintenance and installation. Shit happens, I guess. Yeah. More skills for the monkey zombie apocalypse. Drinking Rona with lime. Nah. Festering fuckery. Festering fuckery. <laughs> I like, I like that. it. That'll be the, uh, that's the phrase of the night, festering fuckery. If I could retitle the stream on YouTube without getting banned, I would do it. General Jackson, litter boxes. You know, at some point, you just need to give folks a swift, hard kick up where the sun don't shine for their own good. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Also, strong. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Bastard. Risky, crisky. The only thing worse than a pog is, hey, dirty, nasty leg. Yeah. Dirty Nasty Leg is uh, somebody in the military who's not airborne. Yeah, speaking of pogs and things that are completely irrelevant in today's day and age, did you hear about Neil Young trying to make them <coughs> Spotify choose between him and Joe Rogan? You either want my music or him. And here's the funny part. He doesn't even own most of his music. He sold like over half, I think over half of it for like a hundred and some odd million dollars. <laughs> Neil Young, you haven't been relevant since the Nixon administration. Go take a dirt nap. I don't even know who that is. <laughs> I, I, I I don't even know who that is. I, I saw it on Tim Pool. I was like, get the yeah. fuck out of here. Pretty sure the number one podcast in the world overrules somebody who is so far past his prime. We didn't even have Optimus Prime when he was in his but prime. I've watched those podcasts by Joe, and uh, he just asks questions. Yeah. He has a guest on there. Oh, really? That's interesting. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. And they're like, oh, I hate him because he's asking yeah, questions. He's asking ah! questions. Uh, we don't want to know the truth. I, I, mean, I, I mean, Rogan is, yeah, he's he's kind of like Tim Pool, kind of, you know, middle left ish. Yeah. But, I mean, that's how crazy the but left has got. If he you was don't a Bernie drink, bro, though, that blew my mind. What? He was a Bernie bro. He said he would have voted for Bernie. Yeah, I know. That's, I know. That's Awful. It is. But yeah, listen, I'm <laughs> no not refunds, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying that um if you don't drink the left's gulag goo juice and become <laughs> oh. a member a member of their cult, uh. then you're alt right. Ah, uh, goo juice. Like I, I I freely admit I'm a, a libertarian conservative. I am middle left. I'm middle yeah. right. 
I, I am not crazy, you know. Now, there are some things that I, I think you and I would be as far right as you can go, like guns. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there should be no gun control whatsoever. None. In fact, all these countries around the world, one of their biggest problems is that they have virtually no gun No rights. guns. If you were to take U.S. weapons manufacturers and turn them loose on all these countries around the world and allow them to sell that shit overseas, you would see a lot of the problems that we get called in to help with disappear virtually you know, overnight. I might actually do that as a part-time job. It would be a fantastic idea. Gun runner. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Allegedly, we don't, we don't get sued. We don't wind up on like I'm any. Just, it's just, I'm just thinking. No I'm just alphabet thinking out loud. soup lists. We've already had to deal with that enough. No, I, I can't deal with that kind of shit. So. <laughs> uh, oh, excuse me. Thumper the sweaty fat guy. ID 10 T's. They're not being removed naturally because society's been bubble wrapped. We need Darwin's chainsaw of natural selection. Oh, yeah! <laughs> chainsaw of natural selection. <laughs> Write that down. Rusty Shackleford, are you going to live stream with Joker? If so, when? Uh, he wants to do one tomorrow. I wouldn't be able to make it. I put these two together. Hopefully they can work it out, do something with StreamYard. Fingers crossed. We'll see what uh, If that does happen, I will make sure that I post stuff on the community page and on all our social media networks. All right, yeah, we got to get a hold of the Joker. I got to apologize to him because I got confused between – I remember I had that brain fart last time, and I thought – when you mentioned his podcast, I thought you were talking about that dating show on TV. Oh, yeah. You're like, better bachelor, fuck that. I was like, dude, dude, it's Joker. I know. I, I'm like, oh, I totally screwed <laughs> oh, the pooch. Oh, damn it. Uh, Joker, if you're watching this, man, <laughs> I, I owe you an apology and a big fat beer one day. So. Beer. Tony Most with a $5 donation. If there was a comment, Susie Q deleted it. Will Dog, Will Dog Jones won. Sorry, guys, can't stay all night. Are you doing the show with Joker Wednesday? I'll have to get a hold of him. But fingers crossed. James P. with a $50 super chat. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. Thank you for all your efforts. I'll fight to the last breath before I get a butt swab. I don't swab that way. I don't blame you. That's another thing is I don't know if I would, if like, for instance, say I'm flying somewhere and I just get randomly plucked out of a line and like, oh, we're going to give you a strip search. Yeah, I'd well, like, ah, uh, no. Yeah, we're going to. No. No, no, I think I'm no, good. I don't think I would be able to tolerate that. No. But, uh, yeah, that's how you get shot. Uh, well, so you can't <laughs> shoot anybody here in the airport. You're not <laughs> gone. Just, just saying. Strongly punched. Smooth criminal, I can hear it already. Me swab you a long time. <laughs> oh, me so horny. Uh, in Fantasy I Die, what's the best part of all vowel opera hour? Getting her back for all the crap she was speaking before. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wedding, send me off with a nice bud. Okay, we're going to start with one, out with the old, in with the new. Hmm. I like it. Is, who is that? I don't know. She's wearing like a uh, mic or something. She, uh, she, she got a nice butt, that's all I know. Okay. Fan I am. Good eye, gents. You must check out Legend of Vox Machina on Amazon Prime. 28th January, a d and animation. Definitely not safe for work. It's awesome. By the way, how was the Mr. Black? You know, I still haven't cracked that one open yet. Mr. Oh, no. The mess of the coffee liqueur. Oh, no. I, I've been drinking that. Oh, you have? Oh, yeah. What do you think? It's, it's really good. Oh, yeah. it's uh, If it's foo-foo drinks, you drink yeah, it all day long. I, I drink the foo-foo drinks first. Uh, I, know, I know. What are you going to do? I've already built it in the homo suspicion point list. So. <laughs> it's all good. Get off me. It's all good. Uh, that's what you said to your grandma. <laughs> Ass violator. Hey, guys, just asking, just saying hi. Uh, formerly alternative lifestyles for men. Hey, how you doing? I did decide to start getting back in shape since Western civilization is collapsing. Time to get my ass back in shape. Nine pounds down already this month. Now, I'm just going to put this out there. Yes, getting in shape is always a good thing. But I have a feeling that you're going to have to be in a different kind of shape. So I would advise you <laughs> to take some MMA and uh, some Muay Thai so you have a good stand-up game. Don't ever go to the ground if you can help it. No. Because let me tell you, there's a big difference between somebody who can run a marathon in like three hours or less and somebody who can fucking throw 300 punches a kick around for five rounds. Ooh. Most people will not survive that. No. I'm just saying, you, you like... You might need to get yourself into fighting shape and learn how to do it. 
And while doing it, you'll take yourself out of the beta list and go to the alpha line. Because alphas fight. Amen. Andreas Christian, it's like the Babylon Bee. All satire articles and over half of these articles will be fact within a month or two. It's really foobar. I hope not. I hope not, too. But at this point, I'm learning just to not be surprised. Andreas Christian, again, I saw a big tr- a pig transport have a ramp malfunction right near a mosque. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> the Muslims were all up in arms about it, but they were afraid. Pigs are dirty. And then one big pig takes a dump on the mosque grounds. <laughs> the Muslims demanded to be moved to another city, but the government said, fuck off. Yeah. Listen, uh, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> when it comes to the religion of peace, listen. If you can keep whatever you have going on in your house, fine. Uh, I just have a, a severe problem with them trying to enforce Sharia law in the street like they do in Dearborn. Yeah, it's not going to happen. That, that's that's going to be a problem. Big problem. Caleb on, on the butt swab, Babylon B, I think, made a joke about China telling its people to stop waddling after being swapped. <laughs> well, it would be uncomfortable. I bet that's just a natural reaction. Nah, dude. Like, if anything screams don't go to China is having some foreign object rammed up your ass. Right up your fourth point of contact. No. Uh, and stay away from the DCCC, too. The Democratic Congressional <laughs> Campaign Committee you insists so stupid. <laughs> that Republicans have no business interfering in your private medical decisions. There's Actually, a- no one has the right to interfere with your private medical decisions. Exactly. That's why we have HIPAA laws. Yes. And I'm sorry, but a abortion is not a private medical decision because there are three people involved, minimum. And, and if it's being paid for by the government. Exactly. And anything that you tax are, dollars, I want to say. Anything you are trying to tax subsidize, you can smurf my balls. That's right. Now listen, um, I'm going to be honest. Back in the day, I was more on the side of pro-choice. But now that I've got children, that'll do it. And I've actually looked into how brutal late-term abortion shit is. I am not. I am not for that at all. No. Unless there's a pregnancy in a fallopian tool. A fallopian. A fallopian tool. Well, I mean, that's kind of well, how she got. Tools. That's how she got into that mess in the first place. I'm yeah, or saying. it's like rape, incest, or something. Yeah, which is less than one percent. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Oh, we don't even have to make jokes about this. We can just read the responses. Oh, yeah. Comedy gold here. Katie Scarlett here with a nice gif here. Let's see. Oh, I don't need to look at that. Just the gif here. Just kind of, eh, whatever, go away. Might want to sit this one out, they say, without any sort of irony in their voice. <laughs> I, I This one's my favorite. Laughs in Vax card. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you want to go out to eat. So why are you mandating uh, pokes to partic- participate in public life. Self-awareness is hard. <laughs> you seem very confused. <laughs> Isn't it ironic? <laughs> Dude, read the room. Oh, and this one hits right close to home, unless you are a woman and don't want to get poked while pregnant. Yep. There's been all kinds of uh, anecdotal stories about that. Yep. And horse cocklock. Nice. <laughs> Remind me, was it Republicans that made it illegal to go out and eat in restaurants, go to the gym, or literally do anything in town unless people were poked? I don't think so. And then, of course, last but not least, fire your ghostwriter. This is worse than a clogged toilet. I would say so. It's a bunch of shiata. A bunch of shiata. It really has been quite hysterical watching the left try to juggle between these two completely opposite points of view and still insisting they're that they are the science. that they're morally consistent and they're following the science <laughs> remember when it, when it was okay to go out in peaceful protest if you know in burned down cities but it's not okay if you want to go to a, a trump rally yeah it's not okay if you want to protest mandates but it's okay if you want to burn loot and murder that's all yeah. okay burn your burn a city yeah. down in fact our uh, disgusting governor will walk with you if yeah, she's a, a Q1. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, and we did talk about this earlier. There we go. Mentioned in the chat here, truck drivers convoy across Kanukistan in protest of federal poke mandates. 
Thousands of transport truck drivers are convoying across the country Sunday to protest the current federal mandate for cross-border travel. Uh, if you guys don't know, they are now mandating that all truck drivers going in and out of Kanukistan have to be poked. As if we didn't already have a supply chain crisis. <laughs> it, no, it would be hilarious if these people drive up there, take the, the truck full of whatever, and just leave it, and then take the rig and drive away. Yeah. Can you imagine if like 50,000 people did that? It would take them a year to clean that all up. Oh, just like uh, Southern California, the the train lines that are constantly being looted. Yeah. And le leaving all the trash out everywhere. You know, are you talking about theft confetti? Yeah, I mean. That's left behind? Yeah. The, yeah, I mean, the theft you know, confetti, yeah. When you drive your train through a socialist shithole, sooner or later, it's going to look like you're driving your train through a socialist shithole. Just exactly. And, and here's the thing. America is doing the same thing at the Canadian border, but you're not really seeing it on the news. Of course not. It's all state media now, and CNN is proud of it, whereas just four years ago they were trying to, to claim that that wasn't happening. No, we would never give the Clinton campaign access to the debate questions beforehand. That would be unethical. Oh, by the way, the Biden administration wants to sit down with us and have us positively spin news on this bullshit economy. Zing. The child, uh, what is it? The uh, child it, nude, ne child nude network. Yeah, the children nudity network. Yeah, yeah. the most trusted name in Jews. I'm sorry, I'm not, <laughs> I didn't mean to say. I went there. I'm sorry. I didn't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> we get, I, we do get a lot of hate mail that, that bash on the on the Hebrews. So. I don't care. I, neither, <laughs> I'm just saying. Usually, I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Well. This uh, it's, boils it down right here. Keith Montgomery. If you're wearing it. Eat it, bought it, it came from a tr on a truck, and if the trucks aren't rolling, you're not getting it. Uh, yes, I am poked, my whole family is, and again, just to stress this out, we are not a bunch of anti-vaxxers saying we don't want to get poked. The economy is going to stop, and when that economy stops, everybody's job is affected. All right. Yeah, well, I I'm going to be honest. Um, I'm not really a fan of the new EIU. EIU. So... Ooh. There's the convoy right there. Apparently, as of yesterday, I want to, or possibly it was the day before. I was looking at updates of it yesterday. This stretched on for anywhere from like seven to eleven miles, showing this kind of solidarity. So, how long do you think before Trudeau caves? The, uh, one, I I don't care <clears throat> because you and I talked about this. All right, this whole boycott thing—that's what the left does. Yeah, conservatives fucking abandon. That's right. There's no well, going back. Well, we're, we're going to talk about that in a little bit when we get to Carhartt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I'm just saying that uh, I, I personally, if I was running the show, I'd shut the border with Canada and say, hey, make your own shit. Yeah, Defend yourself. You're, we're done. You want to be socialist? It's on you. Yeah. We're not paying your bills. Fuck off. Yeah, he, He's going to have to give in sooner or later because when people don't get the stuff that they want... And <laughs> especially no, no. when they don't get the stuff that they, they need. need. I was going to say that. Uh, that's when politicians tend to find their heads on blocks. Remember so, when I, I've been saying this for, I don't know, about a year or two years now? When you can't feed your family. When you can't feed your family. When you can't feed your, you know, heat your house. Yeah, It's going to get real. Yeah. Because th there's no reason for this. No. There's absolutely no reason for this. So and I'm just going to, I'm going to put this out there to, to Mr. Trudeau. And like, you see all these trucks here? Just remember, dude, could be worse. They could be trains. And after all the psychological scars from walking in on his mom with trains, <laughs> I'm just saying. You're talking about the Castro spawn? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Truck rhymes with fuck and you're a brown face ball sack, Mr. Trudeau, you communist sea sucker. You smurf my balls. <laughs> ah! Yeah. Ooh, that was brutal. He's a piece of shit. <laughs> and he looks like he combs his hair with shit. What's what's our count now? We're going up? <laughs> it's going up. We're at 984. All Thank right. you all very much for tuning in. And, you know, I'm going to switch the order on this because it makes more sense to talk about this one yeah. right now. Okay, now, before we go to this one, I'm just going to tell you. This is a very common brand name. Yes. Okay. Uh, I personally don't use their th their their shit. Never have. But there's a lot of people who work in the trades who do. And my advice to you, if you're conservative, is to fucking abandon this corporation and don't go back. 
Yeah, there's a big difference between boycotting and abandoning. Boycotting means that you stop buying their stuff until they do what you want. Mm -hmm. Abandoning means, fuck you, you're violating our constitutional rights, and you deserve everything bad that happens to you. No forgiveness. Carhartt sparks conservative boycott and wins new fans with poke mandate. Well, it might be time to buy some more. Who who do you think you're going to win over with this? Yeah. You're going to win over a bunch of people who sit at home all day, thumbjacking their shit boxes, living off the government, praying for universal basic income. Do you really think they're going to buy your stupid coats? Well, hang on. The liberals on the left, they'll buy one coat. Yeah, but they're not going to go back and get more. Yeah. I mean, I know guys who, who work for oh, my buddy, my, my, my brother works for AT&T. Most of his stuff is Carhartt. Oh yeah, the, the the overalls, the several coats, the, the the boots, the whole deal. You know, guess what? There are other companies that make comparable merchandise. You yep. don't have to buy it from Carhartt. No, Fuck you them. Don't. Abandon them. Yeah, I abandon. Mean, it's definitely not the most comfortable shit I've ever worn. I'll tell you that much. The stuff feels like it's bulletproof, and it's just as comfortable as something that you would wear that's bulletproof. I don't know. I mean, it's all right, I guess. But uh, yeah, they'll they'll break. I mean, I mean th- this has already been declared unconstitutional by the Supreme Court of the United States. Do you honestly think that you're not going to get sued over this shit? It's going to happen. All right. So my ASP is telling me that uh, the president is going to get impeached, and they're going to try to move Harris to the Supreme Court. Harris or or the the vi- the VP whatever yeah well to try to move her to into the spot move they want to get rid of somebody in the Supreme Court and move her into it the Supreme Court uh, oh, yeah yeah I, I, okay now I'm not saying they're planning on doing this this is my esp talking here and I saw a couple clips of it in some crazy wazoo dreams okay so. There's no basis of fact there. That's just a <laughs> prediction from the crazy grunt who's got a TBI and doesn't sleep much. Hey, whatever works for you, man. <laughs> oh, man. Check out Charlie Kirk's uh, tweet here. Carhartt is betraying their entire customer base of hardworking Americans by forcing unconstitutional medical tyranny on their employees despite the Supreme Court's ruling. Stop buying Carhartt until they reverse course. See, now this is your problem. No, you just stop buying them, period. period. Punish them with your wallet. Let Doesn't them die on the vine. And th- guess what? Another company will come along and you just go to their CEO and go, we tanked Carhartt. We can do the fucking same thing to you. Boom. You're damn right. And that's another thing we, we've got to fucking bye pass. Bye. If you do business in the United States, you got to honor the Constitution when it comes to this country's citizens. Yeah. Because, I mean, they're like, well, private companies don't have to. Well, yeah, guess they do. what? That, that is a way around the whole Constitution. Yeah. I mean, Biden's already trying that with his, with his whole bull. Well, what you, I mean, we've been seeing it since 2016. Yeah. I mean, the media thought that they, the, establishment thought well we've got the media we're fine trump used the internet he won the election and then after that it was non-stop propaganda and then all of a sudden youtube which used to be a free speech haven you know tourette's guy bum fights all this other stuff all Gone. of a sudden we got to worry about the children apocalypse censorship uh oh well, this, you're too edgy we got to get you off of here uh, Come on. All we're doing is telling. Now you got priority creators, and it's it, it, in a. I got you. In five, ten years, YouTube is going to be a vestigial relic of what it used to be, and they're going to do it to themselves. They've already done it. Do you? Yeah. It, how many? How many platforms are, we don't? Even, we can't even go to all the platforms that we have a presence on. <laughs> I know. We can't. They, they didn't exist two years ago. No. I mean, there was like what? There was like two other choices. Yeah, like Daily Motion and Rumble, but nobody knew who Rum- what Rumble was until just a couple of years ago. I mean, there was Live League, Ogreish, and Live League I think is gone too. Yeah, they're, 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 they've been shut down. They're gone. But yeah, and, I mean, we have a whole they, well, YouTube is literally giving money to their competition. Oh yeah, it'd be good if you compete <laughs> with us. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Yeah, they had a fucking monopoly and they fucked it up. Yeah, do you know how incompetent you have to be to do that? And we've seen this play out. We did a whole video on it. And if Carhartt thinks that they're above 
this happening to them, remember Gillette? Uh-huh. After those stupid bullshit woke ads, they lost eight billion dollars in sales. Okay, some I, might call that significant, considering the, that's what uh, a quarter of Pfizer's quarterly profits from well, last here, year. Here's the thing from Gillette: right? they literally made their bones on the grunts of World War One yep. and World War Two, and then they slapped them right in the face and pissed on their like you, like you could you, like for instance during world war ii you get your ration pack it's got three meals in it you get like half a dozen cigarettes and then a shaving kit and the shaving kit was stocked by gillette yeah yeah just for context with this gillette article i'm going to point this out right here they lost eight billion in sales a net income of of the year before was 1.89 billion. So they lost four times more than their net income from a prior year. Yeah, I'm sure they've recovered. Their st- their stock price is somewhere around 50 bucks. Yeah, well, I mean Procter and Gamble, all that they're a parent corporation, so yeah. it's yeah. I try not to do any business with P&G piss and garbage. Piss and garbage. <laughs> yep. And now we have to go to another socialist shithole, Massachusetts. All right. Now, this is particularly egregious. All right. Because some people who need an organ will be on that list for fucking years. Yep. Okay. And for them to take you off for bullshit, especially something that's been shot down by the Supreme Court, is, in my opinion, you should be able to sue that hospital into insolvency yep boston hospital takes dying patient off the heart transplant list because he's not poked away uh this man is 31 years old he has two kids and a third one on the way Mm -hmm. it's got to be congenital probably is he is sticking to his guns and i love this here i'll show you this here uh it's his body, his choice, right? Well, that's not how the hospital or some other medical experts see it. This is hilarious. Speaking with WBZ, Dr. Arthur Kaplan, head of medical ethics, that should be in quotes, at the New York University Grossman School of Medicine, sided with the hospital's decision explaining that transplant patients are at particular risk due to a compromised immune system. What do you think's going to happen? Well, if the, you throw an untested experimental human trial drug into the mix, you fucker. Well, what's going on in Israel and Malta? Oh, we're going to talk we're about gonna that We're going to get later. that on the new tech. <laughs> it, it, it could be that the vast, almost, I don't know, it's, it's a vast majority, almost the entirety of the uh, hospital-dwelling population might... Uh, might be in on the experiment. Absolutely correct. Just a bit. Absolutely correct. Just a bit. This is just, it's so dumb. We are, we are actually now living. This like is the I kind said, of shit that, make, that brings on active shooters. And, and this is the kind of shit that should be in the place of the cat litter in the school bullshit. But I guarantee you, there, there's a lot of news companies that are not even going to touch this. Absolutely correct. But I mean, th- this is this is the kind of shit that winds up with people begin being active shooters. Now I don't want that to happen. I'm just telling you, this is the kind of egregious shit that motivates people to make unreasonable decisions. Yep. And now we're supposed to think that this is stunning and brave that a bunch of people who stood up and took the Hippocratic oath are refusing to treat sick people. That's right. And Yay. I believe there's some rumblings that if, you know, if you are a certain eth- ethnic background, you are the bottom of the list for treatment. Yep. And that would be people who are... <laughs> and of course, don't forget that this person comes from a state that has twice now elected a person who lied about her ethnicity to steal affirmative action dollars from actual minorities. So uh, we can all be Ta- thankful that murdering a 31-year-old father of two with a third one on the way is only the second dumbest thing that's ever happened in Massachusetts. So you're talking about poke my hauntus? Poke my hauntus. <laughs> <laughs> How are such assholes? Well, that's why they watch us. It's quite literally poke my haunt is in Massachusetts now, apparently. Well, it's quite literally poke my haunt is if you're going to China. Poke my haunt is. 
Although, you know, no, but if they're Democrats, they probably like to get poked in the taint with a needle full of heroin. Or they like it poked in, poked in the taint with a flesh needle full of hate. Or swabbed <laughs> in the butthole by China with a drinking straw. Bastard. <laughs> you stop, man. Stop. <laughs> Just stop. It is what it is. Oh, see, now you got me. <laughs> oh, he's drinking. All right. Refill. There's a dead insect in this. It's a dead insect. It doesn't matter. I knocked it out. <laughs> <laughs> well, you told me not to wash your cups. That's fine. I, I, am I complaining about it? No. <laughs> I'm just saying that back in the day, back in the day, when I used to be in the army, every once in a while, you drink swamp water and you just pretend that the uh, mosquito larvae that are in there are just rice. <laughs> Well, I guess you got to do what you got to do, man. Hey, look, man, it is what uh, it is. All right, we're going to read some more Super Chats here. Dun, dun, dun. Make sure I'm not missing any. All right, Tim Longley. Good night, lads. First time catching you live. Public holiday means a 9 a.m. menagerie. Yes. But, oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, Out with the way. old, in with the new. But, mm. of course, I catch you not drinking. Damn it. In any case, thanks for everything you do. You keep the faith strong for more men than you know. Oh, we also went to 412. Yep, 412. It's up there on the board. And it's changed on the website. Dog Food 8541. We need to start a pop drinking game. Every time he says, I'm going to be honest, we'll be hammered by the end of the night. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to, uh, let, let's, you can't lie. I'm not a good liar. You this suck is, at it. I am not a good liar. I have the sun in my pocket. <laughs> Listen, you know you're a shitty liar when a three year old's like, say that again, Daddy. Oh. Uh. <laughs> you lie! You lie! <laughs> <laughs> I love the story when your daughter's like, <laughs> she, was, she was like, what, three? Oh, no. Yeah, the youngest one. Doing the about face on you. No, she, she did that and she said, damn it. So oh, literally. really? Like, damn it. And I was like, <laughs> God, that's hilarious. I can't even be mad. No, no, you, you can't even be mad. Oh, all right. That's just me. That's funny shit, though. Uh, Tony Soprano, Duluth trading is better than Carhartt, better quality, and it lasts a lot longer. There you go. You guys have an alternative right there. Yeah, Duluth, they have good underwear, too. Elsis Serana from Canada with a $100 Canadian super Thank chat. Thank you very much. We're not worthy. Listen, I, I really hope the Canadians... They really grow some balls. I shouldn't speak, though, because we're doing the same thing here. But hopefully Canada and America can grow some balls and pull out of the downward spiral we're in. Yeah, that'd be real nice. Now, I hate to talk mad, bad about Canada, but I'm very upset at their, uh, at their prime minister. Well, I mean, if the citizens can learn to do what Castro should have done, which is pull out of the death spiral... I mean, there's two provinces they might in save Canada that don't, don't even want to be part of Canada anymore. Just like a Northern California stand wants to be part of Idaho. Yeah. Uh, well, you're talking about my ex-wife, allegedly? Allegedly, yes. <laughs> Idaho? <laughs> uh, to be honest, ah, Canada has become a worthless country. I can't remember the last time we have done anything worthwhile on the world stage in the last 40 years other than a robotic arm to service the space station. Well, there's some Canadian soldiers in Iraq when I was there, and there was some in Afghanistan. Pull your mic in. All right. Well, first of all, I've never been to uh, Afghanistan, but I hear there was Canadian soldiers there, and there were. I, I've seen Canadian soldiers when I was in Iraq in 04. Yeah. Oh, back in the day. That's almost 20 years ago now. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> that just went by like that. Son of a bitch. Yeah, man. I realized the other day I'm looking at the Kill Bill posters up on my wall like, Yeah. 18 time. years ago. That was a good movie. Yeah. Damn it. Long time ago. There was what, two or three of them? Two. Two. Well, volume one of it. Technically one movie, but they split it up into two because he... There was so much killing. Tarantino being Tarantino, he can't get a fucking movie under three hours. Well, I liked the killing. It was good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Broken Pine 284. FYI, Castro's bastard fled to the Caribbean for vacation yesterday. Yeah, stuff that he will not allow his own citizens to do, of course. Yeah, what an asshole. Well, I mean, we've been watching our politicians do the same shit. 
you're not allowed to do anything. You can't go and get your hair done. Oh, but I have to go and get my hair done because I'm on TV. Fuck's sake. You know who really needs to get their hair done? Actually, who needs like a whole new head? Or a JFK haircut? Yeah. The, the Was it the governor of, or the mayor of Chicago? Oh, yeah. Lori Lightfoot. Oh, yeah. God. She was the one who got caught, you know, out getting her hair did just like uh, nasty Pelosi. Like, I'm serious. She wouldn't be better looking if she turned inside out. <laughs> It really looks like fucking Beetlejuice and uh, she looks and like Gollum an, had a had like an ET baby and somehow it gained sentience and became a mayor. She looks like a something some oh. some slathering D and D undead thing, <laughs> like a ghoul or a ghast or something. What's, I don't know. What's the, the the one that you always talking about? A, a lich. Yeah, that's a, a lich. D&D. But yeah, they're powerful. They're they're wizards who like uh, fuck death. I'm going to cheat death, and they cheat death. They figure out how to like magically animate themselves beyond their years, and they're, they're evil motherfuckers. Ugh. I mean, typically, if you create undead, you're pretty much a, automatically an evil beast. So. <laughs> M. Pujo, making abortion great again. Only the left ends their own. Wah! <laughs> Do they? I well, know. I mean, if you count abortions, 61% of all black deaths are abortions. So Yeah, I'll give you that. That's what happens, man. Rusty Shackelford, I'm impressed with the Canadian truckers. God bless. So are we. Throw your support behind them. There needs to be more. Yes. Like, literally, if 50,000 truckers park their, their, their vehicles on both sides of the border and shut that shit down, That'd be a, that'd be a phenomenal, epic. Dinoside thirteen on abortion. Remember, most pro-abortion people are fine killing a baby the day before birth, but hate guns. <laughs> yeah, isn't yeah. that stupid? They would rather mutilate to death an unborn child than dome a rapé artist who deserves it because guns bad way. Yeah. Break down the morals of that. They believe merely owning guns is so wrong they would rather be rapéed, wait two trimesters, shot back a baby to death, than end an evil person and avoid the problem via self-defense because it proves them wrong politically. Lunacy may be evil. Well, I can see his argument. I just think that a lot of people on the left, they're just so fucking weak. and They have no morals, no honor or dignity. Well, we've seen the studies. In my opinion. They're more prone to sociopathy, psychopathy. The majority of liberal women under the age of 30 have a mental illness. You can extrapolate that to the male side as well. And most women under the age of 30 vote Democrats. So literally most women under 30 have a mental illness. It's really scary. I'm going to do a layer about this. This is this is why you need to repeal the 19th. Because if you don't have skin in the game, you shouldn't be dictating public policy with a vote that counts the same as somebody who pays taxes and produces in society. So you're saying the... Uh... Tax sponges uh, are nothing but a bunch of dick tasters? Well, it would explain, you know, why, why government spending has, co- I don't even know what kind of ruple it would be at this point. It wouldn't be tripled. It wouldn't be quadrupled. It would be through the fucking roofled or Listen, roofied at this point. Well, one of the main reasons, and a lot of women who watch the show are probably going to get upset, but they always, I've noticed in my life so far, a gr- a vast majority of women like to take the easy way. Yeah, sure, sure. Just give them money. Throw money at yeah. the problem. No, no, it's okay. Mm. Yeah, they can come in. I'm sorry. It doesn't work like that. Well, I mean... That's it's... how you make civilizations collapse. Exactly. But it's it's so much more, you know, user-friendly to... To tell somebody that they can be strong and independent while they're leeching a system dry. Uh, yeah, Even and, though and also men. Completely kind of logistically, it kind of butts heads just a little bit. Yeah, child support and alimony. Yeah, so strong and independent. Yeah, child support, alimony, section eight, WIC, food stamps. I mean, there's, I, there's strong like a whole laundry list of shit they get. Like they yep. get subsidized college, subsidized housing. Even if they're not in section eight, there's some programs out there in some states that give them money. Bottom line, women who can't afford to pay for their children get welfare. Men who can't afford to pay for their children go to jail. Correct. There's your male privilege in a nutshell. Boom! 
Chancellor Cum Chugger Plugger. <laughs> oh, oh, God, that's, that's good disgusting. One. Don't be someone's butt plunger. Don't be a munger. Look them in the eye and tell them they're a bugger. And fuck off. Jackal said the next butt shipment, Redhead Edition, <laughs> gets shot in the back. <laughs> All right, we'll incorporate those into the next streamer video. Thank you very much. Jimmy Bones, what do Booty G Judge and Come Swallow have in common? They both got their jobs because they are professionals at the All Vowel Opera Hour. Mm. That's brilliant, Jimmy. <laughs> Ascension! Here's a joke to lighten the mood. What's the best thing about fingering a gypsy on her period? You get your palm read for free. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> Got red on you. All right. Let's play PC. Pop, do you have a D&D &D game going? If so, how can I join? I do not, actually. Um, it's I been a while to... since you've... Well, no, I'm a, my buddy Pete's kids. I used to run games for them every other month or every couple weeks or something. But they're yeah. all, they're grown up now and they do their own thing. Yeah. Uh, and Pujo again. What's the greater crime, abortion or the child abuse associated with being raised by a lefty? Or a single mother. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Well, women are two and a half times more likely to murder their own children. Well, I myself grew up in the household of a single mother, and uh, you got your ass beat. It was not, for the most part, pleasant. Nah. Uh, Sam Whiskey. After the fall of the Soviet Union, a lot of bureaucrats in Moscow were drinking themselves to death, while their wives went shopping in Western Europe because right. they wanted to. Let me just say this: <laughs> the drinking to death thing. All right. I know quite a few individuals uh, who are from Russia, Czechoslovakia, and Poland. And those guys drink themselves to death before that. They oh, yeah. drink, they'd love to drink. Those guys are crazy. They drink me under the fucking table. <laughs> Even the women will drink me under the table. It's shameful. Well, I mean, until the fall of the Soviet Union, all they had was vodka. You didn't go up to the bar and order a beer. You didn't go up to the bar and order a gin and tonic or anything like that. You ordered a drink, and they gave you vodka. Well, I, maybe. I, I wasn't there for that, so I don't know. <laughs> uh, fan I am. Why is it with us it's an abortion, but when it's a chicken, it's an omelet? George Carlin. Uh, because chicken eggs are not fertilized when you eat them. Well, some of them are probably. No, nah, they're not. Okay. Well, that's you would see, like literal fetal remains in an egg if it was fertilized and you cracked it open. I mean, if like they're they're farm fresh and you got roosters in the hen house, I mean, you, you never you know get what you get. And you don't throw a fit. Yeah, yeah, I got you. But at the 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 big places where most of us get our eggs, literally, they lay their their eggs into a fucking chute that just goes down into the conveyor and it just takes I got it you. right on over. So they don't ever. There's not a chance of that. But that's the difference. Hmm. I always hate having to contradict George Carlin. But <laughs> I got you. There it is. Jumping over to Odyssey. Uh, Anthony Most. I thought the doc the movie Idiocracy was a comedy, not a documentary. I've That's exactly what I said the other day. I've been saying that for years. Wow. Francois Le Chatin. As it would be said in Planet Terra, useless talent number 83, I can make such a good impression of a cat that, on two separate occasions, without even meaning to do so, I managed to get someone to believe that there was a real cat nearby. So I'm pretty sure that any lunatic uh, who identifies as a cat would absolutely have nothing on me. <laughs> well, listen, if you think you're something you're not, it's called a delusion and it's a mental illness. Speaking of mental illnesses, Here we it's go. time to talk about our stunning and brave commander-in-chief. He has now spent an official full year in his asterisk administration. Of Let's epic failures. Here we go. Of here is just one of them. <laughs> Two. Three. Uh-oh. Jesus what Christ! Is doing? Come on, man. You ain't black. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. There are no fewer than three different articles that I have found that just they they tie the the bow on this beautifully. You'll be able to see them all on the website <clears throat> afterwards. The, the, but but this one I think kind of nails the point home. Pretty here we well. go. Uh, whatever he touches turns to disaster. And sadly, it's likely there will be three more years of this mess. You remember how when Trump was in office, 
and he actually had what's what's that word accomplishments yes and people could talk about those but they never did to their friends because of the propaganda well they but the thing is there were still those accomplishments and when the propaganda came came a knock and you could say oh really uh five thousand dollars more per middle class family every year oh uh lowest unemployment rates ever especially for the african-american and hispanic communities oh 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 it's right yeah he got the money to build his wall yeah all these things that the media really love to not talk about do you really hear anybody talking about biden's accomplishments no, all they can do is, at best, they just talk neutrally about them. Or they're trying to run interference for an economy that is... I mean, what is approval rate now? It's like 20% or some shit? It's pretty damn low. I can actually take you over to uh, to an image right here. But first, I'm going to show you today's meme of the day. This was sent in by... <laughs> <laughs> sent in by one of our fans there, the Trojan Drake condoms. I sincerely hope they come out with these. <laughs> Three latex condoms with spicy lube. But if you check out Biden's approval, boom, this comes from the Quinnipiac oh, wow. poll, 25% with independents, 26% with men, 24% with 18 to 34-year-olds, and 28% with Hispanics. Oh, you 20, 18 to 34? You might call that bad well first of all the 18 to 20 28 are incredibly gullible and they're incredibly leftoid yes so if they're not buying it nobody's buying it but also i don't i don't believe polls anymore no i don't i, I don't believe this either i just i just don't it's just quite ridiculous oh, here but yet go. here it is anyway the economy is failing inflation's at a 39 year high and he's trying to say that's a good thing. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, unless you, if you have tangible assets like you have numerous physical properties, you've got a ton of money and like precious metals and stuff, inflation doesn't hurt you because the value of those things goes up as things appreciate. Well, it still hurts you, but not as but much. But the other 99% of us, not so much. Yeah. 1.7 million illegal immigrants. Wow. That's another thing if I was in charge. I would round those people up and walk them right yep. back to the border. And they're not vetted, and they're not poked. Mm -hmm. In fact, they're being given the horse dewormer that they're telling you you shouldn't take. Uh, and cases continue to surge. The impact is much worse than it was under Trump, despite a promise to shut it down. Biden has no strategy to combat it. He called it a pandemic of the unvaxxed, which is bullshit, attempting to blame citizens. And he also said that there was no federal solution to combat well, the He EI. literally just said that three weeks ago. Which is exactly what Trump said, and he was held personally responsible oh, yeah. for every they death that happened him. on his watch. Because I remember he was like, it's out. Yeah, it's we, out. We're it's done. Out. It's it's out. You can't. It can't be contained. Yeah, like right here, two hundred and twenty deaths under Trump, four hundred thousand under Biden. So, but you know, CNN's like, we're just going to take the counter and just we'll just put it away. I mean, it's, it's not a big. Yeah, we're not going to talk right? about that. You know, look over here. But this is really going over here. Oh, Biden. Yeah, we're going to talk about kitty litter in schools, so you don't have to know these facts. <laughs> Shut yeah, we're not up. Talk about it, please. Shut up. It's just so damn ridiculous. Uh, all right. Oh, I love this here. Biden administration is rudderless, leaderless, overly ideological mess. Yes. No, they have a rudder. It's basically whoever's controlling Biden with with their hand up his ass and turning him into a human sock puppet. I don't think they can fit a hand up his ass because he's constantly pooping his pants. Okay, I'll give you that. <laughs> I'm not going to say it wrong. And they're using the Constitution to try to wipe it. It's rather grotesque. <laughs> Just saying. I love this. When challenged on America's declining faith in the competence of his government, Biden denied reality. He said the Afghan withdrawal was never going to be easy way. And this directly contradicts his assurances before the withdrawal when he said that we could do it responsibly, deliberately, and safely. Dude, he literally just dropped the hammer. We're and, done. And he got the first Americans killed over there. 13 of them. The first Americans killed over there in over a year. Yeah. Thanks for that. Though I will say this. Remember when uh, Trump whacked that general? And oh, then yeah. I ran did the. And uh, everybody was like, oh, it's going to be a World War III. We. But then Iran countered, you know, fired in a bunch of missiles into Iraq. Yeah. Well, one of my buddies was literally 50 meters from one of the helicopters when I got 
zapped with one of those missiles, and he's actually medically retired now. Oh, damn. He got the same thing that happened to me. He got a blast injury. Back to the World War III thing for a second. Okay. You know, it was everybody was always saying, you know, like th- there was some asshole economist before Trump took off who was like, oh, you know, Trump's going to st- he's going to start another Great Depression, and, and Trump's going to start World War III with his horrible foreign policy. Now we're virtually on the cusp of it. Yes. Because you got a bunch of people around the world swinging their dicks around who know for a fact that Biden's not really in charge. Uh-huh. And if he is, he's the weakest motherfucker to ever hold the office. Correct. And that is saying a lot. Well, <laughs> was there weaker people in the past? I don't, I'm not up to speed on only the presidents, but I, I, mean, I know you, he, you can he's pick, pretty fucking bad. You can pick individual presidents who are worse on specific things. But overall? But when you m- put them all together, oh, this yeah. is a shit stew. <laughs> this is a <laughs> clusterfuck. Chunky. With, yeah, this is more cock right here. <laughs> Uh, hang on, hang on. I got to play the sound effect. Now that you have, oh, we could do this one too. Total cocks. <laughs> serious. All holes filled now, at once. Now, let's talk about the Russia thing for a second. Russia. Okay. I have done a probably, what, three shows on the Ukraine Russia thing? Oh, yeah. You were calling this months ago. But, but here it is. Here's the gist of the thing Russia does not have the GDP. For a long, extended war. No. And it, all Ukraine has to do is drag their feet, and Russia will, won't be able to sustain it. Or the gun running idea, like we were talking about. Yeah. Just outfit up. I mean, just give them Second Amendment rights in Ukraine, give everybody a, a firearm, and then just watch the, the shenanigans commence. It'll be glorious. Well, uh, I will tell you, though, that the Russian army, in, when it starts to move, it is incredibly dangerous. Yeah. Because they know what they're fucking doing. And I would say they're almost as good as we are. The only reason we're better is we have better technology. Yeah. But the soldiers we have today, <laughs> for the most part, are shamefully weak compared to the, the, the soldiers from Russia. Uh, uh, listen, uh, you can see it now. all the commercials. Yeah, I mean, the, the, not even just the commercials we're talking about. We, we know for a fact that in the Air Force, they had somebody quit the special operations training several times. And, still and, got and they pushed her through anyway because they wanted to have a vagina in there. Okay, the only, the only historical uh, reference I can make to anything that's even similar is during the uh, Civil War in Spain. He actually, um, the, but the, the communist guy who actually wound up winning, burned up a lot of people, uh, sent them to their death to fight, even because they were completely not ready. He literally sent actors and like a bunch of soft ass motherfuckers to go fight, and they, they got mopped up. <laughs> Just got mopped up in the beginning. And, Wait, but that's how you get rid of the useful idiots. <laughs> it is how you, you get rid of Just march them in the meat grinder. Yep. Just ask, uh, well, ask any communist regime what happens to the useful idiots after power is successfully oh, seized. Yeah. Oh, my God. I mean, you see what happens. Yeah. All right. I'm sorry. I've been running <laughs> off at the mouth too much. Mm-hmm. I normally don't do this much talking, but this, this well, has got me. You're supposed to. This has got me. Th- I'm really spun up over you're this. You're the host. But do the Go. face. There you go. I'm just saying, though. Well, spin them up. Oh, we're going to talk a little bit more about Russia in a bit. More Russia? Uh, the Afghan disaster has emboldened China and Russia, who continue to display brazen aggression toward their respective neighbors of Taiwan and Ukraine. Uh, Taiwanese apparently just uh, met up with a whole bunch of Chinese uh, Air Force recently, and that did not go the there way was, China wanted it to. There was a bunch of incursions, yeah. Biden surrendered to Putin over the Nord Stream 2 pipeline after, of course, killing Keystone XL in the United States and almost single-handedly crippling our energy independence. Correct. Skyrocketing gas prices in the process. Mm -hmm. I did that! Biden's appeasement of the Iranian regime to revive the nuclear deal was a failure, and he probably emboldened Yemen's Iran-aligned Houthi movement or Houthi movement to conduct a terror attack on the UAE. I mean, you just name it, he's... Well, first of all, uh, I, I, I am not going to um, any of the terrorist bullshit that's going on. It's going to happen anyway. Yeah, because that's the religion of peace, and that's what they do. They the cannot. Of peace. They don't know how to deal with peace. No. When they have peace, they fight amongst each other. That's kind of their whole. So I'm not going to throw that on Biden. They're just dicks. They're just dicks, and he's an yeah. incompetent asshole. Okay, yeah. gotcha. But I will say. 
Uh, hang on there. But uh, out with the old, in with the new. Ooh. I will say that things in that part of the world were a hell of a lot quieter from 2016 to 2020. Just saying. I'll have to agree with you, yes. Oh, let me see here. Biden administration continues to misuse the various agencies of the government to persecute political opponents and brand them as domestic terrorists. Sounds just like Barry Santoro. This is another thing that's going to really backfire down the road. Allegedly. Because, you know, one, if we, you know, basically derail this craziness that's happening and we don't go to the two-way RF range, yeah. and the right comes back into power, they're going to clean house with alphabet agencies. They better. If they don't, if then they, they're just it, as culpable. If it goes to a two-way rifle range, there'll be a lot of people who are really going to be upset. Yeah. Because <laughs> there are way more of us than them. Yeah, just, just saying. Especially in the sticks, and yeah. that's where all of the resources are controlled. Well, I, I personally don't want that to happen, but I'm just telling you. Just saying. Historically speaking... <laughs> That's the way it usually rolls. Uh, what else has he just completely fucked the dog on here? Uh, the blatantly partisan committee to investigate the insurrection of January 6th has the sole function of stopping President Trump from running again in 2024. Yep. Uh, Supreme Court blocked his poke mandate. Kirsten Cinema has rejected his plea to abandon the filibuster rule that would have enabled Democrats to pass a voting rights bill, which is not a voting rights bill at all. It's the federalization of elections. So even if it had passed, Supreme Court would have cocksmacked it because it's in direct violation of the Constitution. Mm -hmm. Fuck you, Biden, and fuck the leftoids for trying to push that bullshit. Uh, Biden's plan for <laughs> like, voter ID is one of the most insanely popular things ever. Like, a super majority of every race, color, creed, demographic, no matter where they live or how they're living, is on board with it. Because you have to show an ID to get on a plane, buy booze, cigarettes, porn, I mean, you name anything. it. Anything. Anything. Anything to do anything that requires anything, even gamble in a casino. Yeah. you got to have your fucking ID with you. <sighs> but if you don't need it to vote, then you can just... Make up the population of a country. I mean, didn't Biden himself say that over 200 million Americans had died of COVID? <laughs> Fuck it. Fuck it. That's build pop, back that's better. That's a pop mantra. Oh, yeah. The build oh, back better. Build back bullshit is dead in the water. That is like a rewording of, of Trump's thing. Yep. But it's make it, make so America, bad. Make America great again. You know, somebody pointed this out to me the other day. You know, you, you always saw people wearing either MAGA hats or some permutation on it because people kind of dug the idea of fucking with people. There was that chick who got pepper sprayed over at Berkeley and her hat said, make Bitcoin great again. Mm -hmm. But it became so identifiable. The they, just, they didn't even read it. They thought it was a Trump hat. I've, I, he, had, I had something like that happen to me. Yeah. I didn't get sprayed. But I have a, one of these with a Redonkulous, the skull logo and Redonkulous, it's a red hat. Yeah. I had somebody walk up, what's your red hat say? I turned around like, oh, I thought it was good. And I go, what if it did? Yeah, what were you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just asking, have you seen a single leftoid out there with a Build Back Better hat on? No. 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 I mean, I might make one that says Build Back Bullshit. <laughs> or, you know. Biden's uh, blissful bullshit. Biden's, the child nudity network. BBB. <laughs> BBB. <laughs> Big black. Never mind. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, Biden implicitly compared Republicans and his fellow Democrats, Manchin and Cinema, to segregationists, Bull Connor and George Wallace. Uh, we're just he gonna... should know all about that because the dude rode with the Grand Dragon for the KKK. Well, he basically sucked Robert Byrd's cock. Yeah. And if he didn't, we know Barry did because he's into that. A big mic! <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, the squad led by, I don't know why they call them the gay. They used to be the gang of four, and now they're like the geek squad because there's so fucking many of them. They irked Biden's failure to cancel student loans and implement reforms for health care, immigration, and climate change. All right, man. now, first of all, let's talk about the student loans here for a second. That's not going to happen. Listen. Was it seventy some seventy five percent of all the student loans is held by women? Yeah, uh, two, -thirds. two thirds, two thirds, two thirds, and they went to college to you know and paid for it with debt with something that's not going to be able to pay the bills. Yeah, I mean, ideally, if you go to college and you want like you go to college for the specific job, you need to look and say how much will I make 
doing job X. Yeah. Okay. If your debt will be able to be paid off in five years or less, then it's probably worth it. Yeah. If not, you're never going to pay it off because babies come, houses, I mean, life gets in the fucking, adulting sucks. Adulting does suck. I'm just saying, it's expensive, it's time consuming, and at the end you fucking die anyway. I'll drink to that. Amen. <laughs> and the women. That's gay stuff. <laughs> And the most amazing thing about all these failures is that instead of learning from them, they we double keep doubling down. down. They double down. They double and triple down on stupidity. Oh. What is stupidity squared? Insanity? It's, it's, it's more stupid. <laughs> you can't even calculate how stupid that stupidity is. Stupidity squared is the Biden White House. Does it get? Does it become a positive number when you cube it? Yeah. Or you, you multiply it by four? No, it's no. still fucking stupid. <laughs> Look, back in the day, wow. back in the day, right, if you were a man and you made a mistake and somebody said, hey, man, this is all fucked up, and you're like, oh, shit, you're right. Let me unfuck this. Yeah. When did it ever, like, oh, yeah, you're right. You know what? I'm not Dude. wrong. In fact, I'm going to double down on this stupidity. <laughs> And they keep doing it. They keep like, doing it. Like, just look at Demo- look up all of the different articles that the Democrats and the leftoid media have written on CRT. It, it doesn't exist. Oh, yeah. Well, well, if it did exist, it would be a good thing. Oh, and, oh, if you don't like it, you're racist. I thought it didn't exist. That's right. Oh, it's not being taught in Virginia schools. Well, it says right here on their website that they're teaching in their schools. Well, it's not being taught in the schools. Okay. It it doesn't. They, they just don't know when to fucking quit. They've, it's like playing pool. Lost. It's like playing pool with a big dildo on the end of your stick. It's or, stupid. Or up your ass. Yeah. Or both. <laughs> God damn! I can get me spun up, man. <laughs> it's the special Chinese model. Not only does it go up your ass and vibrate, it can tell you if you're sick. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh God. his popularity is in a free fall, as we showed you. One recent poll by Politico found that 58% of people don't think Biden is energetic. 57% don't think he's a strong leader. 49% don't even believe he's mentally fit. Gee, could that be because, let's see, in the span of two minutes during one of his really rare press conferences, he lost his train of thought like seven times? Yeah, and then he, he <laughs> talks some shit on open mic. Why do I need to take a test? Come on, man. Because you're a fucking idiot who can't walk upstairs. <laughs> Clarence the And cop. you announced to the world you pooped. <laughs> and a full two-thirds of all Americans think the country is on the wrong track. Absolutely correct. Not to mention the over 40% of voters who think that there were shenanigans in the last ice cream social. But we can't talk about that. That's right. You bring in your artificial ice cream cones and count yep. them as real. What are you going to do? And now for the first time since the 80s, Republicans have a 5 point registration advantage i don't believe this i don't believe when i hear these polls and all this shit i, no, no, this I, I is, need to see this results this is not a poll this is a registration fact oh, people fact. registering for republican versus democrat right. now republicans have a five point lead in registration they haven't had that in decades hmm. it, and that's pip- typically why when they do these push poll bullshit things they always tend to oversample Democrats, like, well, because Democrats outnumber Republicans, right? That's why they lost 2016. Mm. That's why they totally won 2020. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Stunning and brief. It's pathetic. And yeah. We're beyond that. And then, be- <laughs> We're beyond and then Biden gets caught in a hot mic calling Peter Ducey a stupid son of a bitch for asking about inflation. If you haven't seen this with your own eyes, you're about to. Look at that guy. God! It's a great asset. More inflation. He just said more inflation was a great asset. What the fuck is wrong with this guy? It is not. What a stupid son of a bitch. (laughs) (laughs) What a stupid son of a bitch. Now, just to be clear. All right, I'll take you back over here just for a moment. Now, listen. Smartest man I know. (laughs) <laughs> Stupid son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Just I, so we're clear. I think I sent you that meme, didn't I? No, you did not. I did not? Oh, I came across <laughs> it. <laughs> I know things. Okay. I see things. You don't think I hear things? Yeah. I'm just saying. I got man. you. I got you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
I got you. I got you. Sorry, you were saying, I'm sorry, I just had to show that. No, no, I'm sorry. Right. Well, first of all, now Trump was caught saying shit on, on open mics or, or hot mics. It happens. Well, the whole grab them by the pussy thing was a hot mic situation. Yeah. And they tried to blow that up into something that it clearly was not. No, you're right. You're right. But, you know, I mean, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to crucify the man for talking on a hot mic, but I will crucify the man for saying that uh, inflation is an asset. Inflation is If it was such an asset, we'd be being ruled by Venezuela right now. Yeah. Because Because they are fucking, women are walking to other countries to sell their cooch so they can feed their fucking family. And the currency is so damn worthless. They make baskets out of it. They make baskets, purses, whatever the shit, they wipe their ass with it because that's exactly what it's worth. And yeah, you're right. And that was the same thing of the uh, Germany Such before World asset. War Two. Such an asset. Yeah, that that is, that is just ludicrously stupid. That that whole comment right there. Oh my god! I'm you trying know, to be fair here. It, it's always important though to wipe your assets. Yeah, <laughs> <trying. laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are correct. You are correct. Dumb son of a bitch. And then of course, you know, we have this going on here. 178,840 illegals captured and released at the border in December alone. But Biden regime is more worried about Ukraine's border than ours. He's, he's thinking about sending thousands of people over there because it would not shock me at all. Well, first with of all. this snowballing avalanche of failure if he were to attempt to start a war to distract from all of that failure. I was just going to say that. It's like, yeah, you're right. And also, let, let's just get this straight. Now, the president can move troops around for the most part. There's a lot of troops in Europe that he can move down there. But for him to move like 50,000 people overseas is going to require some kind of uh, things. It's going to require something he can't even get approved for. Yeah. He, they're not going to give him, they're, they're, they're not going to say, yeah, it's okay to go to war. It's just not going to happen. Well, um, I don't think they ever actually overruled that whole president has executive order bullshit that they started doing no, in the yeah. 80s. It's just no, yeah, you could do it, but uh, uh, but you're not going to be able to do you, that. You're not going to be. There's a big difference between an executive order and then waging a fucking war. But Does that mean that is so many cogs and wheels know, involved. But in presidents that. have been doing it without the consent of Congress now for fucking decades because Congress doesn't want to get their hands dirty. They're fucking cowards. I agree with you on that. Yeah. Okay. And part of there was like a bill that was supposed to pass before this ass blaster has been in uh, you know in office that was supposed to finally require congress to make a declaration of war for shit like this to happen like eh, eh. and That's we're not going to condemn these past actions either because you know uh, i'd rather watch space ghost because uh, you know my party you know, my, my party line listen and the republicans are just as guilty oh i know they're just, they could have changed this shit years ago and they have fuck them Ugh, we got 1,100 people oh, watching us on YouTube. Shit, that's awesome. Thank you all for tuning in. 748 likes, though. You, you guys, guys are, are slipping, by. man. You need to smash that Take like. Take out it's your a- penis and hit the like button with it. I'm <laughs> just saying. Um, in a non-gay way. I quit. I'm <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, listen. <laughs> I'm just trying to add a little comedic light here. That's <laughs> Try to explain the mushroom stamp on my phone. I already explained that with uh, <laughs> that one officer, that one first lieutenant. Can you do a mushroom stamp with your girlfriend? She's shaped like a dick, bro. Uh, no, I don't think so. Just asking. Listen, for stop judging me. Uh, <laughs> this is making me want to drink, and I'm, I'm trying oh, to Oh, I drank back. like two fingers of that shit on Sunday. It's good times. Listen. I drank way too much on Sunday. There's some crazy ass shit going. I'm trying to cut back in my drinking, to be honest. Oh, so am I. I, I pretty much limited to like. One day a week, and when we're uh-huh. working, you know. Yeah, I mean, I was I was getting out of hand there. I was going through like <laughs> one, one of one of these every but like so second or third day. So delicious. Fuck yeah! But it's got to it's got to be nightmare fuel for your organs. <laughs> your organs are like, come on, man. That's it. I'm kicking you the junk. You're <laughs> taking years off your life. Yeah, the bad ones. Yeah, that is that is true. That is true. <laughs> I mean. Would you rather check out before or after what's happening to our stunning and brave commander in chief? I think I'll be done before it gets that way. Probably. But my, my mother gets really upset when I tell her about the 65. <laughs> she gets really upset. Well, uh, well, I, I mean, I, I suppose I can understand that. As a parent, 
the one of the last things in the world that you want is to outlive your child. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, I, that's one thing I had to. I basically nursed my grandma through it. She lost her oldest daughter before she died. Oh yeah, and her husband went before her. So I mean, it, it was a really dark, you know, last like seven years of her life. Well, it was pretty, statistically pretty speaking, if you went into the military. Um, in like from 1965 moving forward, usually just serving will take anywhere from 10 to 20 years off your life. Uh, between all the shit they force you to take and, and all the stuff you're all the stuff to. you're exposed to uh, yeah. in the area. So I'm not really expecting to be like some old crotchety old man. I mean, you're already there. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you're not full blown get off my lawn, Gran Torino style, but uh, love the movie. You you got the crotchety angle going. Yeah, Dinoside Thirteen. Yes, Blake, let the clankdom flow through you. Nof. I watch my sticks hex and hammer every day. Uh, Maddie P with a fifty dollars super chat. Holy Thank you so much. Wow. Oh, where's my Where's my you're not worthy button? There it is. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. Can we build that into the soundboard? So you just hit a button. Hell yeah. yeah. Thanks for what you do, guys. Discovered Pop on a video with Paul Elam and Dr. T when I was going through a false rapé pregnancy situation. Oh, God! Oof. Keep up the good work. You can't add me to the live save number, but you do help me maintain my sanity. Oh, I'm trying. <laughs> yeah, we're, uh, we're having it's, a hard time with our own. Yeah, this particular I have a hard point. time with my own. I'm just, just going to say that. <laughs> Jimmy Bones. There's a reason why they sent Biden to get ice cream today and Saki lying about her not knowing his schedule, but retweeting the picture of him. <laughs> Search ice cream and Alzheimer's. I've seen it with my grandfather before he passed. Yep. It, it keeps them busy. That's why they do it. They give them an ice cream cone, and then they just let them saunter off and poop yeah. themselves. My, my grandmother died of, of Alzheimer's, and I do not want to go down that road. It is not a pleasant thing. My grandma had really bad dementia by the end. I mean, mm-hmm. you'd, you'd sit down with her for 15 minutes, you would hear the same story three times. Yeah. Corn Pop's a bad dude. Oh, man. Jesus. Corn Pop is a bad dude. That's why you got to call them there with that uh, Clarence the cop. You know, you got to get a... Clear him on there. He'll Clearance. take care of business. He'll take you out for some ice cream. Your, s- your sons of bitches. Turn you loose over in the corner until your butt's been wiped. Oh, man, that was two at once. Ha <laughs> ha! Got me in the face. <laughs> now I know what your ex-wife feels like. Allegedly. Two at once. Possibly three. Yeah. Uh, what's the difference? To, what I hear, is this what? What's the difference between a penis and, a, and uh, your wife? Yeah, what's the difference between the three three dicks and, and a joke? Is your your ex wife can't take a joke? Yeah, okay. That was that. <laughs> that was a good one, man. Whoever said that one was a good one. Evil zombie tale. In my personal opinion, the significant reason we haven't seen massive demonstrations here in the states is because of two A. No one is willing to take that step because the consequences would be severe. Well, yes, you are correct, and they're not willing to do that until you can't feed your family. Can't heat your house, and then it's like, well, well, then, then they're going to be like, why the, why the fuck? It, it's really going to get nuclear when it gets. It, listen, if it gets what, what there, we have going go now is like a giant bubble. There's a, there's so much fucking tension on it. All it's going to take is when that tension gets enough, is just that one incident to like rupture the membrane, and it's fucking on. I hope that doesn't happen. I hope we can back out from that. I'm just saying, my gut is telling me it's not good. It's not good at all. Damn it! I hate that shit. Uh, Suck it! Suck it, Dick! Jump back over here. Evil Zombie too. How do we know Russia will actually act, and this isn't just distractive, unfounded propaganda? Well, um, in the videos I've done, Russia did move a bunch of people onto the border. You can't keep them there forever because it's fucking expensive. So what they did is they set up a bunch of depot yards with the vehicles, the ammunition, the water, the food, the gas. So when it's time to act, all they got to do is move the people there. They take the stuff out of the depot, line it up, Ooh. and off to the races you go. Off to the races. Javo on the bound. Our country has a history of making allies out of our enemies, UK, Japan, Germany, etc., but not Russia. I get the Cold War animosity, and they're not exactly good, but wouldn't we be better together versus China? Absolutely correct. That's I have nothing 
I have no ill will towards the Russians. Oh man, gang up and let's, uh, let's well, crucify those butt-swabbing lunatics. <laughs> there has been some sable rattling going on between Russia and China. Yeah. And one, I remember back in the day when China collapsed. I'm like, guess what? No, when Russia collapsed. When Russia collapsed in 89-90. I remember watching that going, hmm. I have a feeling one day Russia and China are going to go at it. That was just that was just something I thought about back in the day when I saw that. Yeah, and I think Russia could take them because China's a paper dragon. The reason why they released the EIU in the first place is because they've got an upcoming demographic bubble that's going to pop in their faces. Well, the thing that will really screw China is if India just says, "You know what? We're tired of this shit," and they start fighting with China. Oh yeah, they'd be done because then Russia's going to jump right on their side. Yep. And then it's over. Then, well, it wouldn't take much, honestly. I wouldn't say well, it's over, a, over. A lot of what what China's strength looks like on the world stage is currency manipulation uh -huh. and foreign investments. Yeah, and that's, that's three-shell Monty. It. Yeah. It's a three-shell Monty. And they just keep swapping shit around. Or don't Look over here. Look over here. They're building. Yeah. Our numbers totally are this low. We've got it under control. Never mind the fact that the number is actually 671 times higher than we're saying it is. But, yeah. you know, Believe us, because, yeah. you know, we're telling you the truth this time. Yeah. And we're totally not state-run media. Our journalists are independent. Yeah, we're sure. different. Well, we I, love yeah. you. Our, listen. Our journalists are not even independent. No. <laughs> They've sold out years. It's basically the same shit over here now. You've got state-run uh -huh. media, and they're all trying to crush out independent voices like us. Or Project Veritas. Exactly. That's like the only one that's still doing legitimate uh, journalism. Yeah, or, or they're swatting Tim Pool twice in a month. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, really, Tim Pool, that fence sitter? Really? You're going you're gonna to swat Tim Pool twice in a month? Well, the reason they go after him <laughs> is... Because one, people watch his show. Two, he for the most part is a fence sitter, but he talks about current uh, shit that's I not know. been propagandized. He talks about important stuff, uh -huh. but that man never had an opinion that he, he that he clung to. <laughs> There's very few that I've ever heard him actually take a firm stance on. Well, well, he he took a stance on he was voting for Trump. That was pretty firm. I thought that was pretty good. Well, that's fine. But yet you are correct. There is a lot of fence hitting. And listen, in today's environment, I'm not going to throw a bunch of shade at him, but I understand. Yeah. I'm, I still watch his material. So do I. It's one of the few places that you can go to actually get somebody just telling you the news and debunking the propaganda. The deal. So. Like we, what we do. Yeah, like the, this is bullshit. This is why. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but but you can at least you know listen to this. Like, cool. Yeah, well, see, when they come here, I tell them how to look for propaganda. I tell them it's bullshit. I don't <laughs> lie to them, and I give them my opinion. You're damn right. Uh, Jason Fontenot. Uh, hello, my friends. He put Indian in parentheses, so I'm, I'm guessing that's what he... Hello, my friends. How are you? Would you like a raspberry squishy, Mr. Homer? Can't even look at Apu on The Simpsons anymore. They're at bastards. Yep. Uh, cancel culture can cancel my cock. Uh, fan I am. I saw a cap that said, Mouth, make America like Florida. <laughs> I like I it. I like it. As it should be. Uh, smooth criminal, this administration divides by zero. <laughs> yeah. That's about right. Quite literally. Alex Patino, with Venezuela money, you can take it, make your pants, shirt, and still have leftover for underwear and get more for it trying to buy anything with it. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. Quite, quite astonishing. Yeah, but you know, Venezuela, they are proof that inflation is an asset. I wonder what happened to those guys that tried to do that invasion down there. They got to be dead by now. Probably. Is what it is. Ohio Trucker One. I've been having a dream where Biden and cronies were walking down a dark path with a light in the distance. After five minutes, a horn is heard revealing the light to be a freight train. I wake up just when it gets good. <laughs> That's usually how it goes. Yeah. I'd be fine with them walking into that clearing at the beginning of Jason Goes to Hell. If you've seen that movie, you know how that scene ends. It should have been the end of the movie. CJ, to be fair, inflation is the biggest asset of the government. It allows them to pay off debt faster because money printer go... <laughs> well... It's a, only if you're super rich does inflation actually do anything for you. The rest of us, it's a de facto tax. It's, it's, it's a suffer tax. Yep. 
especially when uh, the wages are lacking way behind it. That's what happens. That's why, when it, that's why we have so many people not willing to go back to work. Yeah, that's what, it, what happens when you know inflation goes up 7%, the highest inflation in 40 years. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty that's, high. That's uh, just phenomenal. Uh, channel 1-800-DUMB. Love to pop in Blakey. I'm researching the EIU jab for children especially. Scary rubbish. For, well, um, we're going to talk about that new tech. I can't go to it. Why are you not menagerie? Blake, projectile, please. <sighs> nah, I'm going to wait till you're distracted. Yeah, I'm trying to cut back on the booze, bro. Trying to cut. Nah. I've had one mixed drink, and I'm going to have one shot. That's two units of alcohol. I'm good. Yeah. Well, you got to drive home. you got to drive home. Well, uh, I mean, you've seen me lay on the floor before. It's not pretty. With the dog bed under your head. Yeah. It's not pretty. I don't want to. It's not a good look for me. Whenever we talk about Wango Tango stuff, man. <laughs> <laughs> not good for me. The Zerbigan thought about EVs, especially Ford Lightning. Electric vehicles. Okay. Um, one, the problem I have with any kind of electric vehicle are the batteries. Yeah. Um, I, what was that news story where a dude just burned his... Uh, Tesla, it wasn't that old, but he he needed twenty two thousand dollars for a new battery pack. It was just cheaper to burn the car. Yeah, he burned the car. I I don't blame him. And, and the amount of earth you got to turn up and all the it's not environmentally conducive. No, and and they're claiming oh fracking is going to be a, a threat to the environment. Have you seen what a fracking facility looks like? It's like a small building surrounded by trees and green grass. Compare that to a lithium mine. Oh yeah, where children are put to work mining for the shit that and powers toxic. these damn cars. It's toxic too. Yeah, just a bit. Uh, over on Odyssey, Caleb on. Hey, about Lori Lightfoot. That's insulting the undead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're correct. Outstanding. Out uh, fucking standing. All right. Uh, we're going to have to take a break and go to new tech. Take a break and go to new tech because we're going to be talking about some forbidden subject matter. Forbidden uh, fruit. So you guys can join us on any of, uh, actually, Roxy Tube has been offline now for quite a bit as well. But uh, we are still live tonight on odyssey.com, dlive.tv, and twitch.tv. I will place links in the chat so you guys can follow us on over there. Thank you all for your donations tonight. And uh, if you guys want to really hear about some crazy shit, follow us. Follow us over there because, trust me, you're going to want to know about this stuff. One last chat here from Dick Burns. If I try his fights, Pops, how long will it take for him to shoot me on spot? <laughs> If a what? <laughs> if I tries to fight pops, I'm how long will it take to shoot anybody. me on the spot? I'm not going to shoot anybody for running a fist fight, me, unless there's like multiple people. Oh, yeah. Do that. Then it's not fair. That's not fair. Well, fair fights are for suckers. Well, first of all, human beings created the concept of fair because Mother Nature doesn't do shit fair. No. It's just not how it works. No. But yeah, I mean, just, just one watch on one uh, thing. animal yeah. stampedes if you want to learn about fair in nature. And here's another thing. Back in the day, if I ran my mouth and I got roughed up, I was cool with it because I ran my fucking mouth. And that's just, <laughs> that's part of the bro code. The bro, bro code. Okay, now getting sucker punched and shit, that is a no uh-uh, and you will get 110% effort out of me if that happens and I'm not dead. <laughs> Amen to that. All right. For those of you who are following us over, we'll see you in about four or five minutes. For those of you who are not, we'll see you Thursday night for Thought Thursday. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's go.